you've done it hundreds of times. You're driving up to a traffic light and it turns yellow and you have to decide whether to stop or go. That's kind of a dilemma, right? Indeed, it is a dilemma, and that's why U of L engineering professor Richard Lee and some of his students are at the intersection of Shelbyville Road and Juno Drive in Louisville. They're doing research on the so-called dilemma zone for drivers. Well, the yellow dilemma zone is an area where uh, wherever you're approaching an intersection, the light will change yellow, and sometimes you don't know whether you should speed up or slow down and stop. So we're trying to figure out a time that would reduce the amount of cars that would be in the yellow dilemma zone. So that way we can have either a longer yellow light or a longer green light. Uh, that way less people have to make the sudden decision to either suddenly stop or suddenly go, which causes a lot of wrecks. But through this study, using the radar sensor, we can better understand how drivers react during the yellow time. And uh, through their reaction, their behavior data, especially their trajectory data over the yellow time, we can better model the dilemma zone locations. Traffic engineers say the dilemma zone stretches up to 600 feet before a stoplight. Lee's team is mounting a radar to catch the speed of each vehicle as it approaches the stoplight and when drivers made the decision to stop. Lee says the real dilemma zone for each car is different based on their speed and how far they are from the light. So maybe radar tracking those cars should determine when a light should change on a busy road instead of say every 45 seconds or when traffic on a side street trips the light. We are thinking about a, a might, uh, might be a better solution to improve that using the radar sensor because the radar sensor can capture all the vehicle's trajectory from up to 600 feet. So we can capture every vehicle's dilemma zone. It's also a first step for his students to learn how to do research. I've never been able to be in a formal research process like this before, but. Um, and I think it could really translate into the real world. Lee's research is being funded by the National Science Foundation, which is hoping he'll come up with ways to make traffic lights and intersections smarter, greener, and... Ultimately, we're hoping that we can provide a better dilemma protection and make it safer.